In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Lightroom catalog. The first step is opening Lightroom and getting prepared to do the catalog backup. And then once you get Lightroom open, it's already open on my screen, obviously, you go into Lightroom Catalog Settings. This setting is not under Preferences, but it's under Catalog Settings. On the PC, you would go to Edit and then Catalog Settings. Once you find Catalog Settings, this dialog box will come up and you can see where your catalog is located, which is very important later. And then the first step that we have to do is backing up the catalog. You want to force Lightroom to back up the catalog before copying the files. Otherwise, you won't have a backup. And what you want to do is under Backup Catalog, click the drop down menu and then choose When Lightroom Next Exits. When you choose When Lightroom Next Exits, Lightroom will force a backup to happen when normally you start the catalog backup maybe once a week or once a month. When you choose When Lightroom Next Exits, you close this box, you go to Lightroom, and then you quit Lightroom, and you will receive a message. Backup catalog, search for indicate should be backed up, yada yada. Make sure you always leave test integrity before backing up, and then optimize catalog after backing up, simply because if there's a database error, eh, you're going to have a problem. And then all you do is simply hit backup, and Lightroom begins the process of checking the catalog integrity, making sure everything's okay. Now, depending on how long it's been since you've backed up, it can take a while for the backup to occur. But once the backup process of the Lightroom catalog happens in the front here, then you can the program will automatically quit and you'll be ready to go. As you can see on my computer, even though I've got a very fast machine, it is taking a few moments to back up. And this works for Lightroom 5, Classic, 6, or whatever else you have. And now that the Lightroom catalog is backed up, you can go to the Lightroom catalog folder, which you have now, and then you do the second step of this process. All you simply do is look in your backups folder, and you will see the backup that I just created. But all we're going to do is select the second step, Lightroom catalog, the LR cat file, as well as the previews.lr data file and any other Lightroom generated files. And then you're going to copy these files onto an external backup drive. I know that you can see that backups have been generated here on the main computer, but that is what's called a copy. That is not a backup. To truly back up your Lightroom catalog, you need to put it onto an external drive. I don't do this as often as letting the backup system make a backup on the computer, but that's an extra layer of security because the first idea is that if your Lightroom catalog corrupts, you're toast. It's like, oh my gosh, it's ruined, and it does happen to people if your computer glitches or whatever happens. So these backups in Lightroom can really save you, but if your hard drive dies, or there's a major glitch on your drive where not only do you lose your catalog, but your backups disappear, then you're in real trouble. So the second step is to make sure to copy the files onto an external drive, whether it's a hard drive, a solid state drive, a thumb drive, or whatever you have. That is the second key to backing up your Lightroom catalog so you don't have any problems and you don't lose months or even years of work which would be really devastating. And that's simply how you back it up. The first step is to force a backup when Lightroom next closes to get your initial backup, and then on your local drive. And then the second step is to simply select your files, edit, copy, and then go and edit, paste, or clone, or whatever your computer setup is to back up on an external drive. That way you can prevent future problems for yourself. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a teacher of Lightroom and InDesign and Photoshop and all sorts of other Adobe products. 
Please check out the link below to my classes and you'll learn a lot more. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment on the video. And if you found this useful, subscribe to your, my channel. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your Lightroom time.